wife and mother says she knows what she did was wrong. Okay, good. Pally, over to you. Thanks, Sue. All right, no matter how rushed you are trying to find that last-minute holiday gift, you'll want to be careful. The holiday season is one of the busiest seasons for scam artists. So joining us with tips on how to avoid fraud this holiday season is former NYPD detective Harry Howe. Hi, Harry. Good morning, Allison. Okay, so why are you particularly vulnerable if you're a last-minute shopper? Well, uh, it's the holiday season, and the bad guys need to do a little Christmas shopping right now, so they need to do that with your money. Oh. Okay? So if you're the last-minute shopper, you, you, you need to, uh, you, you gotta got a couple days now for Christmas, so you got to purchase something quickly, all right? So let's say, uh, let's talk about wire fraud. Yeah, what is that? All right, basically wire fraud is that uh, if you respond to an unsolicited email, such as, uh, you know, we all want this big 70-inch screen LED television set that costs $5,000, all right, you might get an email saying, well, we can get it to you for $1,000. Uh, you think it's a great deal, we can get it delivered to you by Christmas time, and you wire them money right away. Now, the bad guys got the money in their pocket now. This is the best way for them to commit the scam, all right, because they got the money right there. Okay, got it. So let's talk about your tips for how to avoid being scammed this holiday season. You say only deal with legitimate companies. In other words, if you haven't heard of something online, don't buy something from it? Exactly. I, I would just deal with the companies that you know of. There's plenty of legitimate companies out there today all right, that you can deal with, so you don't have to deal with anybody you don't know. You say if it's too good to be true, it is, and of course that's a good rule of thumb in life, but how do you know? I mean, they do offer so many sales right now. How do you know if it's too good to be true? Yeah, no, you know, you can't get a $5,000 item for $1,000. That's basically it. If you see, that's too good to be true. You see something like that, like the puppy scam they have out there right now, where you can, uh, let's say, it's a pure breed puppy you want for your kid that costs five thousand dollars. All right, you see, uh, you can get it if you wire them the money for five hundred. You know that's too good to be true. You know there's no way you're going to get that puppy for five hundred dollars. You say pay with a credit card, not with a check. Why? Right, because uh, I see people go into stores now all the time and still using checks. The the bottom line is every time that you pay by check, first of all, your check account numbers out there. Second of all, they make you. Give all your financial information on the back of the check. You're going to know what you get, your date of birth, your address, all that information. You know, next thing they're going to be knowing, they're going to want to drop your DNA on the back of the check. The last, you say, never wire money to a stranger. In other words, all of those ridiculous emails that you get claiming that a, a prince in Nairobi needs your help, you shouldn't give them your money? Listen, if you're as lucky as I am, I win uh, 11 million dollar lottos about three or four times a week. Congratulations. And thank you very much, but the whole thing is that you're not going to get this money, and what happens is that they want you to wire uh, $2,000 in legal fees to get the money to you. Did you hear that, Brian? Kill me. He falls for it all the time. Um, <laughs> Harry out. Former NYPD detective, thanks for all the tips. Thanks, I'll see you. All right, so imagine seeing this on the side of the road. Three people.